Hello everyone, if you're a student of a teacher education course and you would like to know how to create a junior high school class record, then this video is for you. So let's start with the components of the K-12 grading system. The first component is written work, the second component is the performance task, and the third component would be the quarterly assessment. So under written work, let's say you have given at least two written work for your student. Let me insert one more here so that this would be named as Q1 and this would be named as Q2, Quiz 1 and Quiz 2. That would be under written work. And for performance tasks, let's say in a quarter you have given two performance tasks. So that let me insert another column here. So this will be T1 for task 1 and T2 for task 2. So that would be under performance tasks. And then let's say we are talking about the first quarter exam. Now let's have the total points for quiz 1. Let's say this is 20 points. And for quiz 2, let's say this is 30 points. And then for task 1, let's say this is a total of 70 points. And task 2, let's say it's a total of 100 points. And then for the first quarter examination, let's say you have a total of 50 points. There you go. Let's color this green. This one is blue. And this one is yellow. Let's place some border. And for this example, let's say we have at least five students. So let me name this as S1, student 1, student 2, and until student 5. There you go. So let's just say student 1 got a score of around 18 for quiz 1, uh, 22 for quiz 2, 55 for task 1, 89 for task 2, and 43 for the examination. Student 2, let's say he got half of 20, half of 30, half of 70, half of 100, and half of the exam, which is 25. Let's say both student 2 and 3 have same score. And then say student 4 got around 12 points for quiz 1, 18 points for quiz 2, 42 for task 1, 60 for task 2, and 30 points for the exam. Let's just say student 4 and student 5 has exactly same score. Now the problem is, what would be the grade of students 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? So let me just fix this width of each column by double-clicking it in between those columns. There you go. So the first thing that we need to do is to get the total for the written work. So let me insert a column. And this would be named as total score. In my formula, that would be equals. Press equal and then the SUM open parenthesis and then highlight this cells that you would like to get the sum. So that's from column B to column C under row 4 and then press enter. Then just simply drag this formula to get the total score for the written works of all students. And then insert another column for the percent equivalent. And this is always equals to the score divided by the total score times 100%. For spreadsheets, you just simply type equals the score, click it on the cell location, and divided by, that's forward slash, the denominator would be the total score. Click this cell and press this icon here, the percent sign and it automatically converts your quotient into percent value. So obviously, 50 divided by 50 is 100%. Now, 40 divided by 50 should be around 80%. But if, if I drag this formula, notice that it all computes 100%. Because the idea of dragging the formula is it follows a certain pattern wherein what happened here was it just simply copied how the pattern was made on its original form. So to, to repair this, let's make sure that the numerator is the score, and then forward slash, divided by your total score, which should be above. So that's 40 divided by 50. If you hit enter, it would give you 80%. 
Again, if, if you copy this formula, something is not adding up right because 30 divided by 50 is not 120%. Now, let's look at what happened to the formula. Again, if you copy formula, it simply copies the pattern you made on the formula. That means the pattern was this cell here divided by the cell above it. Same is true with this next item here. If you look at the pattern, it's this numerator, the score, divided by the cell above it. So it shouldn't be that way. The denominator should always be the total score. So how can we change this? We go back to the topmost formula, the original one, and then let's try to, to change this formula such that we just simply need to lock the location of our denominator, which is 50. So when we drag the formula, this denominator of 50 will not change for all formula indicated on this part. So we can do that by simply placing a dollar sign before number 4 or row 4. And if we drag the formula, it now changes to the correct value. So if we try to check this, the pattern now is the 40 divided by the total score. Same with student 2. If we try to check the formula, the score divided by the total score. And even up to the last student, if we check the formula, it's the score divided by the total score. So the dollar sign works as a permanent locator of a cell. Okay, so we now move to the next part of our formula. We are dealing with English subjects, so we need to understand how much of a percentage would written work actually take from this equivalent percentage grade. If we try to look at the K-12 grading system, we have the weights of the components for grades 1 to 10. First component, written work, performance tests, and quarterly assessment. Notice that English subject doesn't belong here, doesn't belong here, but it does belong to the languages. Therefore, the first component is 30%. That's the weight. And then 50% for performance tests, and then 20% for quarterly assessment. So we go back to our class record, meaning for English subject, the written works weight should be 30%. The performance tasks weight should be 50%. And the quarterly assessment should be a weight of 20%. So that we now insert another column here. Right click and then click insert. Now we now take the 30% of each percentage grade. So this is very simple. Just press equal sign and then click the grade and then multiply, that's asterisk. And then 30% in decimal value is 0.3. Or you can simply click this cell. So that's indicating that 100% times 30% should give you a 30%. If you drag the formula down, Notice again that there's some inconsistencies on this formula, which means that you did not lock this 30%. That's why when you drag the formula, what happened is it follows the pattern as the grade multiplied to the cell above this cell. Same is true with this part. 60% is multiplied to 3.6 instead of 30%. So to correct that formula, go back to the original created formula and repair this by placing a dollar sign before number 3, indicating that this cell should not be changed when you drag the formula down. So press Enter, and then let's redo that. There you go. It is now correct. If we check the formula, 60% multiplied to 30% is equal to 18%. Same with this. Check the formula, 50% multiplied to 30% is correct. So this is now the first component, written work. We are now complete with what we need, which is the weight for the written work. Now we apply this column total, this person equivalent, and this weight for the component on the second component, performance tasks, and the second component, quarterly assessment. So I'm going to need to insert three columns for performance tasks. So insert one, insert another one, and insert the third one. 
and we can simply copy this formula control copy and then paste let's just change the color double click and then let's change this to 50 percent then we can all drag the formula at once there you go so the total score is computed for each student. the equivalent grade was also computed and of course the percentage or the weight of the performance test which is 50 percent so that the 50 percent of 60 is 30 the 50 percent of 50 is 25 percent we do the same in quarterly assessment this would be the third component so let me insert three columns again let's right click insert one insert number two and insert number three and again I can copy this columns here control copy and then paste it here or no need for the total because we only have one score for the quarterly assessment so the necessary columns that we only need here is the equivalent score and the weight of the quarterly assessment so that's control copy and then paste it beside this column meaning I don't need this extra column here so let me delete it then change this color to yellow and then merge these cells there you go and then this one shouldn't be 50 because quarterly assessment is 20 percent so let me change that to 20 percent there you go and if I drag this formula it follows that it computes the equivalent grade in percentage and then the weight for the quarterly assessment so checking on this class record we have computed the weight for written work let me place that in bold the weight for the performance tasks and the weight for the quarterly assessment what we need to do now is to combine this three components weights to get the initial grade so on this column I'm gonna place initial grade meaning the sum of the three components so that would be equals the component weight for written work plus the component weight for performance tasks plus the component weight for the quarterly assessment so that should give me an exact value of 100% so when I press enter that is 100% if I apply or copy the formula for the rest of the students then it also computes the initial grade for student 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 now this is not yet the grade that will appear on the report card of the students so going back to the K-12 grading system, depth ed transmutation table should be utilized. If we have here an initial grade of 100, the transmuted grade now should also be 100. If you have here an initial grade of 60, then the transmuted grade should be 75. So let's go back to our class record. We now have another column called transmuted grade. And of course, if we have an initial grade of 100 the transmuted grade is an automatic 100 now what would be the transgrade for an initial grade of 83 let's look at our reference 83 belongs here so meaning the transmuted grade is 89 for 50 initial grade of 50 we have a transmuted grade of 75 I'm sorry that's 72 so we have a 72 for student 2 and 3 and then for student 4 and 5 who got both 60 60 has an equivalent grade or transmuted grade of 75 so this is 75 and this is 75 meaning student 2 and 3 failed because they did not meet the requirement of a passing score they only got half of all the activities provided from written work performance tests and quarterly assessment which is actually a failing grade under the depth ed or k-12 grading system what we need to have 
for a passing score should be at least 60% of all activities in written work, performance tasks, and quarterly assessments. So notice that the grade four, student four and five have 60% for the written work. Same with performance tasks. They achieve a 60% percentage equivalent. And same with quarterly assessment, which is 60% percentage grade equivalent. Therefore, the transmuted grade of a 60% initial grade or percentage grade equivalent is a passing score of 75. You can also add and compute for the mean of the grade, the median, the mode, and the standard deviation by utilizing the formula for any spreadsheet. This is equals average open parenthesis and let's compute for the mean grade of the students that would be 76.6 for the median this is equals median open parenthesis highlight this set of values or data that would be 75 and for the mode this equals mode open parenthesis highlight the set of data the mode should be both 72 and 75 Though in spreadsheet, it could only give you one, but it's actually 75 and 72. We have a bimodal here. And then for the standard deviation, this equals ST dot, I'm sorry, that's STDEV, that's the shortcut for standard deviation, dot P, that means we are computing the entire population of the data set. Then open parenthesis, highlight the set of data, press enter, and we have a standard deviation of 6. We may say this is high, indicating that the grades of the students are not that compressed, not that close enough to each other, or not that homogeneous classification. So there you go. This is how you compute a DepEd class record. We have the written work, performance tasks, quarterly assessment, initial grade, and of course, the transmuted grade. Thanks for watching.